Hello friends. Today we will demonstrate the, how to create a bank account in Oracle Cloud Fusion. So in cloud application, uh, first of all, we need to go to the user who have the setup and maintenance role. So go to the setup and maintenance. This is nothing, this is a consulting role. Application implementation consultant role that need to be have the user. So go to the this navigation, go to your project, manage implementation project, BMW. Now here we need to select the task, which is manage bank. So we need to select the this task, manage banks, go to the task. And click on new, create icon. And here you need to select the country first, for which country you want to define the bank. This is nothing, this is uh, internal bank, right? We are going to define for United States. I'm going to define for United States country. You can select here the code one. Okay. The bank name. RPS. Bank. If it has alternate name, so you can put over here bank code or all the uh, other fields that you have the, then click on address. If you have the address for that, so you need to enter the address. This one, city, country code, everything you need to enter. Or you can just select the postal code here. One triple zero one. This is New York code. Manhattan. So automatically, other details will be populating, right? Click on OK. So if you want to enter the, uh, do, uh, do you have the contact details of the bank? So you can enter also the detail of the bank. Save it. Okay. The message you have, your all uh, changes have been saved. Now save and close. Now on the top right, we have the create branch option here. It's like an EBS, we, we can create the bank name and then bank branch on the same time. So let's create the branch. This is NY, router number. For the routing number, which I can put here, one, two, four, zero, eight, five, zero, double, six. This is the routing number. If you have the BIC code, so you can put over here branch type. So we can type which is a chips code, chips participant ID. If you have all these stuff, so you need to select over here, enter the details. What type of branch you have, ABA. So I have, so you need to select here and enter the uh, address detail also for this branch where it is situated. So suppose, uh, let me take the same. New York. Okay. And then save and close. Right. So this is how we can create the bank and bank branch. Now we need to create the bank account. So click on done. And select the 
टास्क बैंक अकाउंट मैनेज बैंक अकाउंट राइट सो सिलेक्ट द नेविगेशन गो टू टास्क and create a new bank account over here enter the branch name rbs which you have to find the rbs branch enter the bank account name account number you can put over here that you got from the bank currency legal entity as we need to assign the legal entity to the branch or bank details account type what type of saving checking or other you can see this is not the mandatory field all the other details for what purpose you are use you will use this account payables or receivables payment you are receiving the account payments and uh, making the payment select the cash account select the bank account which is the cash account right on the top we have mm -hmm. click on okay also you can enter the clearing account whatever the clearing account you will be using to clear the account so at the time of reconciliation of cash management right so you can put over here payment document also you can put over here that need to be used while defining the uh, suppose i'm going to take the rps document what type of stock like numbering stock this is nothing this is a checkbook stock that you will be using format uh, let me take the standard format for this okay standard check format i am taking for this okay check payments and the number first number would be available and the last number you can put over so i am taking the 1000 number of also you can enter the checkbook details also what we need to enter the detail here suppose the first step book we have the uh, 1 2 21 or 21 leaves so the check number suppose this is a 1 2 0 0 and it's sending with 1 2 21 right so this is the checkbook entry you can enter click on okay okay so this i need to just take the first available number we have given the first and then so one and suppose 40 or 50 we can take right as we have taken the first available number is 1 and the last number is 100 so we have to be taken the same in between the 1 to 100 right so i have taken it so this is how we can define the payment document details of the bank account definition if you want to use this bank account for the multi currency uh, payments so you can select it if you are uh, using Going to use this account for netting account AP AR netting, so we need to select this check box. All right. Let's check the control details. Go to next step, and you can select all these details like uh, manual reconciliation tolerance rule for for this you want to use and uh, bank exchange rates that you want to use. Right. all these bank details after your business requirement you can select and cash flow costing target balance and uh, transaction calendar you can assign while you are using the bank statement transaction creation rules right security tab you can select the security what type of secure the user role you can select uh, or secure by user role you can put over here the 
and enter the user that can be used this bank only. So this is a new feature here in Fusion. So suppose this user want to, I want to use this, this particular user, right? Okay. So this user will be access this account only, right? This is a control or secure, we can secure, right? This particular account. Next step would be the business unit assignment. So let me assign the business unit, click on plus sign or create sign, you can say, okay. Let me select this. As we have already assigned the legal entity, this is the page where, the, where we can assign the business unit, right? Also, we can define the category and method also. We can assign, suppose, uh, for check payment, document category also check payment, okay. All right, so this is how we can define the uh, bank account and save and close. Now this can, uh, this is active in status and you can use to make the payments and receiving the payment from the customers. Hope you would like this video and thanks for watching and uh, please share and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.